today I'm actually going to be doing some hyperlin uh, configuration and I just wanted to kind of record and show you a thing so that way you guys can you know configure your own um, I am using the uh, what's this one called I can never say the actual name of this but it is here um so this is the um high de dot files um so that's one i installed and it's it's a very you know minimal hyperlink configuration and um i like it it's pretty easy to install you just run this this script here uh and it it's pretty fast and and easy um you typically just need to be on a uh fresh install of arch um or you can use you know other os's like um, Endeavor OS or Arco Linux or Cache OS, whatever you want to use. Typically, I would just go with uh, installing no desktop and then, you know, running this script and then you'll just get your Hyperland um, configuration installed there. But I want to go past that and kind of show you how to kind of configure some things uh, within um, Hyperland and give you a quick rundown. Uh, so, yeah, so basically, I have some notes over here. So, navigating um, the configuration file. So, where it's located on a default, well, on this one in particular, is in your dot config, and then it's slash hyper. And then you can see all of the different uh, configuration files you have here. So this one splits it up into multiple um, configuration files, uh, which I'll show you in a second, but um, some other configurations will, will just have the hyperlink configuration and all everything's in that one um, file, or you can source them out and have them in separate files. I kind of like having them in separate files because it, it does make it easier to kind of manage and um, you know do things without having to run through this long um, configuration uh, within there. So we'll go into the hyperlink configuration. Um, so this one you know divides it up very nicely. So you have your monitor. Um, configuration there. Anything that launches, you know, on startup um, is right here, and I'll show you how that works um, later on. Um, and if you have a laptop, which I'm currently on, you can change um, how the input is uh, used there. And then you have different layouts that you want to, you know, switch between there. And then you have some miscellaneous things. And then this is the source files is how you can have a separate configuration file. Uh, source to your your regular hyperlink um, to have them in separate um, sections without having to have everything in one spot. Because um, I know like uh, the Archcraft one that I've installed, that one was all in one um, huge configuration file. I mean, it was very neatly separated out, but it was just this, you know, extremely long, you're scrolling for days <laughs> um, to get to everything where this one, it does, uh, you know, kind of put them in separate folders, if you will. So I can exit out of there. So basically, if I want to be able to change like some key bindings um, for the way I like things to be set up um, and add like different apps and stuff like that, um, it's very simple to do. I can go in here um, to the configuration and then go into key bindings instead. Um, and then so as you see here, you have um, a bunch of d different default key bindings already in here. You can go in and change um, these key bindings to something you like. So this one says it opens the term terminal is uh, mod T. So if you wanted that to be like mod enter, um, you can, I believe it's return on this, but you can type in mod return. Um, and then that will um, do open the terminal with mod return instead. So depending on what your preference is, you can just definitely change that to you know whatever you want it to be. Um, and then so if you have other apps that you want, you would um, come up here and assign the app um, and then use the same uh, syntax that you see below um, to assign that app to an actual key binding. Um, so for instance, I like to um, you know, open Discord with a key binding. Um, so basically you type in lowercase to keep it consistent. But yeah, you type in what you want the assign to be. And then after the equals is the actual command that you would put in the, in the terminal to actually open that specific app. I use webcord, um, so I'm just going to have webcord as the actual command, and then I can come down here, and typically what I do is actually just copy these, one of these existing ones, and then um, add another line, copy this one, and then paste it um, down below, and then I just change out the text to, this is going to be opening, you know, Discord for me, um, and then you want to use the 
same assign um, that you had at the top there. So this is going to be Discord. Um, and then I want to change it to mod B. And so now um, when I close this out, I can do control exit, then yes. And then from there, I can do win D. And hold on, Discord's already open, so let me close that. Win D. And then Discord um, opened right here. So it's it's pretty simple. So like another one that I you know want to add on my configuration here would be I use Telegram as well. So if I want to do one for Telegram, I just add it in there like that. And the Telegram one is uh, Telegram dash desktop. So you are going to need to know what the actual command is to open that specific um, app. Um, which isn't too hard to, to find out, but you would just need to make sure you know what that is before, you know, creating these. And then I can go down here and just literally do the same thing and, uh, copy this guy here and then add another line, change this to telegram. And then I use uh, mod G for opening telegram only because I have mod T <laughs> as opening terminal. Um, so yeah, and then you can literally change any of these that you, you want. Um, just make sure you know what it's doing before you change it. Um, and also, if there are multiple doing the same action, um, you want to make sure you only have one doing a specific action. So like this one's mod alt G, so that's okay. It's not mod G. But if this was mod G, I'd, I'd either add an alt or a shift or something in there. So it's not doing the same thing um, twice. Um, and then, yeah, you can just go through here and change anything that you want um, to be different, to be more, um, you know, suited for your needs. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the key bindings. It's pretty straightforward um, and simple. Um, and then I did have someone asking about the rounded corners. I like them to be a little bit straighter on mine. So what I typically do is go into the themes folder here. And then in the themes folder under theme configuration, um, you have uh, the decorations. Um, so in here I can do the gaps. Um, so I actually like to have a little bit more um, gaps in there and then around the edges. Um, then you can change the border size if you want to there. Um, and then I like to change the rounding down to two. Um, Cause I don't really like the rounded corners there. So then if I control X, save yes, um, you see immediately that it does change. And now I have my more square corners there and it's just easier um, for me on the eyes. <laughs> I don't really like the rounded rounded corners. I just like the, the square ones, but yeah, so it's very easy to be able to, to change that. And then also something like opening um, different apps on startup. Um, that one's very easy to do as well. That one is just in the regular type land configuration. And then as you can see here under launch, um, there are a bunch of different um, ones that are already you know, launching by default, but if you want to, you know, do like, you know, launch Steam um, or something when your system um, opens, you would literally just do that. So it's exact once and then equals whatever the command is to launch uh, the thing that you want open. And so I also like to launch um, my, what's called noise torch, which cuts out all the background noise um, when you're uh, talking. Um, on any type of uh, video chat or Discord, whatever you're using. It's a great app, but if you want to try that out, I would suggest it. Um, I have kids, can't hear them in the background <laughs> because of noise charge. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much um, all I wanted to go through in this particular video, but if there's anything else you want to learn um, configuration-wise uh, within the Hyperland configuration, just let me know, and I can create a video on that, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.